Hi, I'm Ian McNally, one of the owners and directors of English Woodlands Timber. So over the last 10 years, we've had a lot of change at English Woodlands Timber. And yes, not all of it is fundamental change. That seldom happens. And we've been very fortunate in that the pace of change has always been in a forward motion. And yes, it, it varies in terms of the quantum of change and the time, but we're very pleased with the forward motion that we're getting out of it. Tom and I are building a culture of continuous improvement. Now, if we look at some of those fundamental changes that happened in the business, the first I think was critical. We decided to retire our old bandsaw, which was cutting the logs. And we outsourced the cutting of logs to Northampton. And we bring those logs in, cut through and through, and then dried in our yard. A big, big change for a sawmill. We set up a machine shop. So instead of doing the initial through and through cutting process, we outsource that all the way through to Northampton and we focus this area on value-added services. This has all really been down to the energy and enthusiasm delivered by the people. Philip in this case has done an amazing job. He's built a department that contributes the most in terms of value and the most to customer service. We're absolutely delighted with what he's done. The other part of it was the upgrading of the buildings. The buildings were in rather poor shape um, a while ago, but we spent a lot of time upgrading the quality of the buildings, upgrading the floors, and that's enabled us to put in racking and also bring in multi-directional forklifts from combi lift that have enabled us to efficiently select and store timber. It's been transformational. The other big thing was our digital strategy. We bought a lease line uh, from Hayshot about four or five kilometers away, paid for the cost of bringing a hundred megabytes of fiber broadband to our site. And that's enabled us to make it all uh, web enabled. So you'll see on the floor now people walking around with tablets and telephones, doing video calls and chatting. Transformational in the way in which we've been able to talk about timber with our customers. And then of course, there's the retail area. We built and set aside a space for wood fans and woodworkers to be able to come into English Woodlands Timber and wander around and select bits and pieces for their um, development and processes. But the real change, the real change is actually uh, implemented and done by the people. Tom bought into this business about 20 years ago and finally took full control of it 10 years later. When he came along and invited me to join him, and I bring very different skills to the party. As many of you know, I'm not a woodman. Um, I bring financial and business development skills into the process. Um, but it's the people like Christine and Wayne who bring a lifetime of um, experience in the timber industry. Um, the youth that we brought in, Grant, um, Nick and David, who are now starting to manage the uh, core parts of the business. And we also have the real characters. Uh, Peter, sadly, who's just recently retired, who had spent 42 years here in this, uh, in this shed, doing his work and, and working with customers an absolute delight. We've got a, a web page on him with all his crazy shirts. You might not know, but he had over 200 what I call shocking shirts. That's a euphemism for shocking. Uh, now, Graham is the other character who manages our air dried yard. And Graham has um, done that for probably 12 or 15 years. He's going to be retiring in about 15 months time. But every day and, or, and every week he ensures that there's a flower or a plant on the reception desk. He has a love for the wildlife in this space and everything that's going around in the wood yard. He manages the orchids between the wood stacks and he's an absolute delight to work with. A wicked sense of humor. Now Tom and I decided to invite a top interviewer into the business and uh, and a writer and he's interviewed a number of our uh, these characters and people and we have posted their stories on our blog it's been an absolute delight for me to read them these are fascinating interesting people and it's 
quite obvious I've never asked the right questions because I learned so much about them. I encourage you to look at our blog and read their stories. You'll be fascinated and delighted just as I was.